Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we live and garden here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today's project is really quick, really easy. I think anyone can do this project. We're going to be potting up some small eight inch pots with some annuals, just one plant per pot. Easy peasy, let's get it done. If you've been around Harmony Hills Home and Garden very long, you may remember that we have these eight inch black plastic pots that I put annuals in and I hang on brackets on the fence gates in the front yard and in the backyard. There's four of them all together and it's now time to change out the plants that are in them. The pansies that are in them right now I put in here last fall and they live the entire winter in these containers hanging on the fence gates all winter long and this spring they really flushed out and were very pretty with these white pansies up against the fence in the black pots. But now we're getting 90 degree temperatures a lot and it's time to put summer loving annuals into these containers. So that's what we're going to do today. Did I mention that this project is super simple, super easy, anyone can do it? Yeah, it's true. All you need is some potting soil. I'm using this Harvest Organics Natural and Organic Potting Mix. You can use miracle Grow Potting Mix. You can use any brand that you find at the, at the garden center. You can use a mix of peat moss. I know not everybody likes peat moss. Peat moss and garden soil and compost or vermiculite or I don't know. Go online. You can find any number of YouTube videos telling you how to mix your own potting soil or you can buy ready-made in a bag, whatever. Um, I'm using potting soil. I'm using some slow-release fertilizer. The one I'm using today is Osmocote Plus. I like this one. It's tried and true for me over the years. It comes in these little pelleted balls and uh, what it does is it's kind of heat activated. So um, over the course of the summer, as the heat comes on into the summer, uh, those little balls will slowly decompose in the soil and add nutrients into the soil over time. So you know that your um, potting soil is going to have nutrients in it if you put in some slow release fertilizer like this. I will also be giving little jolts of quick release fertilizer in the form of a liquid fertilizer about once a week, every 10 days, something like that over the course of the summer, just to give a little bit of a quick boost to the plants as well. All right, so soil, fertilizer, and plants. The plants I'm using today are these Superbell's Holy Smokes Calibracoa. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? They have both the purple and the white. That is my color scheme for my annuals this year. They also have a bit of yellow in them, which is a nice cheery pop. I'm only gonna be using one plant per pot. These should grow and spread. They should cover the entire pot over the course of the summer. Calibracoa or Superbells are um, plants that don't want to stay moist. So you don't need to keep them wet like you do uh, Supertunias or Superbenas or other moisture loving plants. Calibracoa, Superbells, they like to dry out between waterings. So putting them into a small pot is perfectly fine. Normally, I would say in the hot summer, don't put things in a small black pot because this will dry out very quickly. But with Calibracoa, Superbells, is totally fine. And so the last thing I need is my pot. Now these currently have plants in them. I'm going to be taking these plants out, refreshing entirely the potting soil because I'm sure that these are root bound. Yep, see all the way down to the bottom. So I'm just going to toss this whole clump into my compost pile and refresh with brand new potting soil and then pot up my annuals. Super easy. In fact, I'll just do this. There we go. I'm just going to take these over to the compost pile real quick. Okay, now my method. How am I going to do this so quick and easy, you ask? I am going to actually take the pot off of the plant here and set the plant aside real quick. And I'm going to put this down in here and use it as a form for my potting soil. Let me just get this tag off. There's the end of one of these bags of potting soil. So I'm just going to put potting soil into the bottom and then set my pot down in here and firm it in there. And now I'm just going to fill in around it nice and full on the outsides here. Tuck it down in there. All 
right, I'm going to firm it in there nice and firm and then just twist this, spin it and twist it and pull it out. And I'm left with a perfect hole to receive the root ball. Now I'm going to add in my fertilizer here. And now I can just plop this down in there and it's done. Ta-da! So easy. So I'm just going to do this three more times. Like I said, super easy, super fast way to add some interest and color to any area of your landscape. You could do this with sun loving annuals or shade loving annuals. You could do it with perennials. You could do it with anything. The method of putting the pot down inside the soil and then filling the outside pot with soil around that works really great when you're going from one size of a pot up to the next size, which is only leaving you a couple of inches around the rim. Now, if you're putting a bunch of plants into a huge pot and a lot of plants into them, then this method isn't necessary probably, but for when you're just bumping up a size or two, this works really great. So what are you planting and do you have any special methods or tips or tricks for how you do your plantings in your containers? Put that down in the comment section down below. We'd all love to learn from you and get good tips and tricks from each other. I hope you're having a wonderful day in your garden, friends, and I hope I'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.